guys, BCTV back with another video, and today I want to show you guys how you can optimize your computer for daily use and for gaming. So basically, uh, just follow the steps I show you, just follow exactly what I do, and your computer will be fast in no time. This is uh, for Windows 10 mainly, so just follow along. So first what you want to do is go into your search, and search display settings. Right there, open that up. And now we have your display, so you can change the size, you can change the or orientation and the brightness level, uh, this doesn't matter, this is more in battery, this brightness level, let's keep moving on, let's go on quickly, right? So notifications and actions, so, okay, over here it says show me tips about Windows close out, we don't need that, show app notifications, you can keep that on, um, I'm going to keep it on, show notifications on lock screen, sure, keep that on, alarms, reminders, keep that on. Everything notifications from these apps, uh, whatever apps you don't want notifications from, just close them because they're going to slow down your computer. I mean, it's going to make your computer faster if you close them. So go ahead and do that. You have all these apps right here. Let's move on. Now we have apps and features. So once this opens up, so basically what apps and features is like we have all the apps that we have in this computer and the features and what we can do is uninstall any of the apps that we want so that's the cool part about this so if we just scroll down once my computer loads everything it's kind of lagging right now as you can see because it's not optimized yet but after this video will be so okay it is loaded up so now let's scroll down whatever we don't need we're gonna right click and uninstall so right here we don't need this right click or just click on it and then you have uninstall right here so uninstall and now it's gonna uninstall and now we keep scrolling and find whatever else we don't want so uh, can you escape just click that uninstall this is just an easy way instead of going to your control panel just go here uninstall you can uninstall many things at one time it's so cool like you whatever you don't want like just so many things I know I don't want here I'm just gonna uninstall this is 1.2 GB save some you know get some more space in my hard drive keep moving this, this is so fast, I recommend doing it, so just keep going, uninstall, keep going. Whatever you find, whatever you don't like, Kindle, I, what, what, I don't even know, I don't need that, uninstall, keep going, keep going. Uh, Saltier Collection, I don't need that, never played, uninstall. Keep going, uh, make sure not to delete any of the Microsoft stuff, so like, because that's the computer stuff. So, but keep going, like, whatever you keep up with, whatever you don't need, just right here, especially these games that you've installed from time but never played them, just go ahead and uninstall them. The rest of the things, uh, I'm just going to leave uh, for this video. I'll go ahead and do it after this video, but you guys get the message. Now let's go into multitasking. And on this multitasking, we have, like, you can leave this open. Like, multitasking doesn't really matter. It's more in battery use, but, like, I mean, multitasking is fine if you only do it. Because it's not always active. It's only active when you activate it, so it's fine. Go in tablet mode. I'm going to turn this off because I don't use it as a tablet. Mine's on a touch screen. So I'm just going to keep that off. Battery saver. Make sure to turn battery saver on. Because then it'll uh, save the battery and, you know, you won't have to charge it as often. Keep going, power and sleep. I already set this up, so when it's plugged in, turn off after 5. When it's not plugged in, turn off after 2 minutes, it'll save battery and sleep right here. So everything's done. Storage. So this is your storage right here. So everything, uh, so this is basically, uh, so this is where all your apps will be stored or all your things will be stored. So new apps will save to computer, new documents will save to, so everything, what they've done with the Windows 10 is they've made it, everything easier to access, so you can just go ahead and access it right here and do whatever you want with it, so right here, new music will save to, you can just set, set a default spot to where it saves to, and there you go, offline maps, I would turn this off if this is on, yeah, it's already off, map updates, turn it off, I don't use it, whatever we, whatever we don't need, turn it off, Default apps, keep these, whatever, about, okay, now we're done from here. Now what we want to do is go search over here, uh, services. Services, and then it'll go on, uh, right here. So once this opens up, what we want to do is, okay, these are all the services that we are offered, right? So basically, okay, let's go down to X, right? So Xbox, let's say you don't have an Xbox connected, right click, and properties, and then uh, startup type is disabled. So I ha I actually have my Xbox connected. So I'm just going to press cancel. But that's what you want to do. So cancel. But one thing I would recommend uninstalling for everyone is. Um, one second. Let me find it. It's in the diagnostic uh, tracking service. You don't need that. It's for diagnostics. So right here. Um, right here. So. 
So diagnostic service host, diagnostic system host, like you don't need these. So I'm just gonna do service host, system host, like all, like you don't need these. So I'm just gonna write here, properties, manual, disable, apply. Make sure to press apply and then done. Okay, another thing you can uh install, do the Xbox ones like I told you, and do all these diagnostic ones. Okay, now we're done from here. Now go back into search and search privacy settings. Right there. So right here, so you can uh, turn all these off, so that, uh, let apps use my advertising ID, I'm just going to close that off, smart student fi uh, filter, close that off, you can uh, keep these on, I'm just going to just close that first one, just keep these on, and then location, I'm just going to turn it off, I don't need it to use my location, if you guys use Google Maps, you can use it, but I don't, right here, turn all these off, camera, off, microphone, off, you don't need your location here, account info, you can turn keep that on if you want. Uh, I'll keep it on, whatever. Contacts, calendar, turn it off. We don't need that. Call history. You can turn that off. There's a lot of things. Just go through here, right here. back, Especially background apps. What you want to do is go on that, especially. And uh, turn the ones you don't want off. So I'm going to turn this off. Like, what is this? I don't even know. Like, keep going. Get Skype, Maps, Microsoft Edge. Turn that off. Turn that off. So like the Nor like for me the Norton Studio it keeps like interrupting with everything and I know it is expired I'm not gonna do anything about it so I'm just gonna turn it off. Um, there's a lot of things you can turn off here. So Smart Glass, Xbox Weather, Twitter. I'm gonna just turn that off. We don't need that. So Skype Video, Shark Dash. I'm gonna turn that off. And then uh, just go through here. Whatever you wanna turn off, turn it off. Okay. So now that is it. So now what we wanna do is search System Control Panel. Right there, or actually system configuration. Right there. So what we want, no, sorry, system control panel, actually. So just search that up, system control panel right there. So now we want to go to is uh, advanced settings. And uh, we want to go into right here, performance under advanced and go into settings. And now what you guys should do is click on custom and, and just like follow whatever I did. So basically what this does is like it does little things like speeds up animation and does stuff like that. So like I'll show you. Okay, let's say this is unchecked, right? So slide open combo boxes. So when I press the, the windows button, it just opens like it just flashes open. But when I slide open it, apply. Now it slides up. It'll take a second for that to work. Yeah, but it slides up. You guys get the point. So I'm just going to close that. We don't need that. Apply that. Just follow whatever I did over here and uh, you should be good. So this will optimize your computer, make it faster. Just press OK. Now what you want to do is close everything. We're done here. And then right click on the home screen and go and personalize. And uh, this is where you can personalize everything. So change the background color, the picture, whatever you want. Colors, everything you have. Choose a color, automatic whatever lock screen right here you want to close this get fun facts tips tricks close that we don't need that themes start so start what you want to do is like turn this off occasionally show suggestions and start we don't need that show most used apps you can keep that on recently recently open and jump list uh, you can keep that I guess it depends on how you use it so yeah we're done here now and now what we want to do another thing we want to do is go over here on this arrow and we have OneDrive right here, right? Uh, let's find OneDrive. Right here. So what we want to do is right click and settings. And then what we want to do here is go into settings and uh, turn this off. So it says uh, start OneDrive automatically when I sign into Windows. No one really uses this. So just uncheck that. Press OK. We should be good. And now uh, another thing you can do is you know how I have these things open like wider. I'll show you. So if you go in task manager right here. So. If you right click on the task manager, once I find a spot, right click, and then you could uh, go on to properties. And then right here, you have combine, always combine or never combine. So if you always combine and apply, as you can see, they all combine. But if you do what I did, never combine, apply, it opens up. So I think that's really cool. So guys, uh, that is it for this video. Sorry for talking so fast. There was just a lot to cover and I needed to cover it fast for you guys. So you guys wouldn't get bored. And you guys could follow along. Just pause in the video wherever you need to. This is how you optimize your Windows 10 computer for gaming and daily use. I hope you enjoyed. My name is BC. You're watching TV. And the next video is where you can find me.